T! Hello! Hello. Welcome Hello. to the tea review. Now with a lamp and a microphone, but the microphone's kind of at a silly angle, so I've bought a gimbal for it so that we can put it near where our mouths is, because that's where words come from last time I checked. But we haven't got it yet, so... It'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. And then we can do a proper professional. I bought so much gear just for yeah. this shitty fucking <laughs> You're not going to get your money back. Maybe you if we do it for a few money. years. If we do it for a few years, we'll be good. Okay. Today, on Tea Review. Tea Review. <laughs> I didn't like that. What tea was that? Review. Tea Review. We have... This is not just a tea review. This is a cream pie tea review. This is an m &S tea... Oh, are they going to sue me if I say that? It doesn't matter. Uh, it's no. free advertising. <laughs> we have something that we alluded to in the previous episode, and that, my friends, is organic bags of nettle tea. We bought it up during yesterday's episode, and I was like, while well, we were in the shop... nettle soup. I was like, oh, we need to go and have a look, see what teas we've got for today's episode. And there just happened to be bags of horrible nettle tea, and they look... So bizarre. They're biodegradable bags, which is why they're brown. They probably came from a fucking compost heap or something. Oh, God. So, yeah, they... So, we're having... nettle infusion. It smells like grass. Shitty nettle tea. I haven't actually smelled it yet. Let's have a, let's have a sniffy. You have a sniffy while I pour the Oh, water. wow. It really does just smell like freshly mown grass. Oh, that would make for an incredible air freshener. You know what? I used to feed my rabbits... Um, <laughs> air fresheners. Well, I did actually, yeah, the pine tree ones. And it really does smell like... Any of you who've ever had pet rabbits and you've given them rabbit food? That's all this is, I'm convinced. That that smells just like like the dry hay that you put in with them. It's probably because it is. Yeah, probably. Very similar. I am not looking forward to this. Well, when I saw it and um, I was like, well, if we get these, it'll be content, especially if it's shit. You know, Pe oh God, if it's really bad, that. people are going to really, really attach themselves to it. Um, wow, they're like so green. They are really green. Wow, but, this is good. Yeah, well, do you want to have a chat while we wait for these? We will. How long do these take to brew, out of curiosity? So, it says between two and five minutes. I've put four minutes. That is between two and five minutes. That is between two and five minutes. And if it takes us a sec to get the tea bags out, you know, we can have a chat. Right, so, first thing then, uh, vegan day two. Day, yep, day two. Uh, is that today? We're kind of on a weird sleep schedule right yeah, now. Yeah, today is day two. Yeah. Today is day two. I had, uh... Fuck off, right? It's my group chat. This is so sorry. unprofessional. I'm sorry! Holy shit. Fuck off. Like, honestly, they'd never shut the fuck up. Sorry, Tom, <laughs> Tom if you like, are listening. <laughs> it's like, shut up! You left your phone in my office for like 30 seconds yesterday when I was recording Remod, and I had to keep stopping because it was just ding, 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 over and over. Anyway. I don't respond though. It's just them talking to each other. Sometimes they'll at me, which is the epitome of fucking rudeness. Do not at me on Facebook. I refuse to, I will not respond. I've genuinely made it a thing now. I do not respond to you. Here's what I had for, for breakfast, right? Now... <laughs> Uh, firstly, I'll show you the box. Uh, this isn't bacon, it says on the box. And if you can see that there, then how clear that will come out. Um, it does look like bacon. On the box. Yeah, on the box. <laughs> Here's what it looks like in the packet. <laughs> uh, wow, delicious. And I'm not going to... Any of you in the UK, maybe they have pedigree in America too. Pedigree dog treats. The Twizzlers, the specifically. The bacon Twizzlers. They smell just it like... It smells them. absolutely identical, and it threw me off. So, so I took a sniff, and I was like, it smells like pedigree, but I wasn't going to say that to you, and I got you to sniff it, and then you immediately said, that smells like the pedigree. It's unbelievable. It's uncanny. It, tastes, it smells exactly the same. I don't know about the taste. Now, to be fair, when it's cooked, it doesn't really taste much, which is probably the best you could ask for. It's better than having it, be, having it taste bad. They're higher protein than regular bacon, because obviously they've got no fat. Yeah, and they're really low in calories. And they're lower calories. So if you're just here to bulk, go for it. Well, not bulk, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But not absolutely not bulk with those. But if you're just here for the for the protein influx, the, which of course I am. Gains that's all I'm here for. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was it's fantastic. Yeah, well, like you, when you were eating them, you didn't look sad. Which they didn't is... taste of anything. So yeah. it just tasted of barbecue sauce and the roll that I put them in, Yeah, which was a Warburton's ro white roll. Well, I had vegan food today as well. I had a vegan madras. And you do have vegan like, a lot of the time, though. I, not, it's not L that It's often. not that you even have specifically vegan food. It's just you have a lot of meals that don't have meat, i.e. vegetables. Yeah, because I don't... I, I do... I really like meat. I can't lie. Like, I really like meat. However, <laughs> I love... Ooh. Um, wow. 
Okay, Padme. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, the thing is, I like meat, but I, it's, I'm not always in the mood, you know? Yeah. Don't know <laughs> Got him. But yeah, so I, I had a vegan madras. I had like these chorizo-styled sausages. They look terrible. They, they were really looked... good. Really good. I'll be actually. honest, I've, we've bought a lot of food and I've already eaten a lot of food that looks terrible, but when it's cooked, it's actually okay. It's actually okay, yeah. Later, we're having some... Uh... We're going to have Donna, Donna kebabs. <laughs> Donna like, kebab, quote they, unquote. They, they are fake Donna. <laughs> it actually looks like real Donna meat, though, to be fair. It does. It's small. Oh, Alexa. Stop. Uh... Stop. <laughs> She's thinking about it. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Problem solved. Yep, done. Right. So you think this is done then? I don't know if that how that's coming across in camera. Uh, but that looks... That looks like greenness. It does look a bit shitty. I can't hold it too close, otherwise it'll fog up the lens. But Jesus, that is... Um, that's really something. Wow. The return of the tea bag. Oh, I for, the, from our advent calendar, from day advent one. Advent calendar. Oh, wowee, it returns. Best value. <laughs> yeah, we still use it, so it's technically good. Have you ever had anything nettle before? Because um, you're not from, like... I'm not from a shithole. No. You're not from round here. No, I'm, I am from a shithole, but we don't eat fucking nettles. Right, um, let's have a sippy then, shall we? Are you sure you want to sip this? This is going to be hot. Let's have a sniff. Sniffy sniff. ASMR that? sniffing. ASMR sniffing. We've got a stereo microphone now, so oh. we like we could start a sniff on this side and go round right, it. Right, go on, go on, go on. Right, you ready? <laughs> <coughs> that smells really bad. <laughs> wow, that smells like a farm. It smells like boiled oh, cabbage. It smells like dirty socks. <laughs> oh wow, we've got some real different opinions on that. You've got a lot, like a lot more. I've got Shit a bit more in residue yours. in the bottom. Like, it smells to me, you know how we had oh, that Jesus. licorice tea? It smells like that tea, because that also smelled like dirty socks. <laughs> so, it doesn't smell as bad as that. I'm though. not getting a dirty sock vibe, but I am getting oh, like a... Eh. It is a cabbage -y, I get what you mean. Very, very overboiled cabbage, to the extent that all the smell and the flavour is almost gone, but it's there. Yeah. It's lingered. It's lingered. And matured. Oh. <laughs> Wink. You're having a taste. Don't say anything. Let me have a taste now, too. Oh, your face says everything your mouth didn't. Hold on. <laughs> tastes like old socks, too. Oh, that tastes like dog shit. It's really... No, I'm not literally saying it tastes like dog Sam shit. Sam eats a lot of dog shit. It really, really does bad. taste like cabbage water. Yeah, it's really bad. It really 100% tastes like just cabbage water. I don't like cabbages. It tastes like the water you get after broccoli's been boiled. Yeah, but that's not good. It's that's broccoli water. Good. I could have bought, got that without paying fucking £2.50 for a bag of shitting. It's me that paid for this. You can... Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Then. Oh, wait. I just said the bad word. <sighs> right. You have to think of a thing that we're going to be able to... Yeah. I'll give you my duck sound effect. Because want... people always laugh at that when I replace swears with that in... I could just do it to... Yeah. Because you just said yeah <laughs> like no. that. I think the duck sound effect's a winner because everybody seems to like the duck. Everyone when likes I... the duck. Everyone likes the duck. i tell you what I don't like. Fucking nettle tea. Nettle tea. That is, that's is shite. I'm not even going to finish it. Like a lot of the things in the advent calendar. Yeah, I drank all of it. Yeah. I finished it because we'd spent like 20, 25 minutes talking sometimes. I was like, okay, I'll just drink this. You know, if it's just like an inoffensive thing, like orange. But this is shite. Yeah, that tastes really good. I bad. wouldn't even give that to my thing I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> my younger brother. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, not good. What would you rate that out of 10 sounds? Oh, that's like a... A two. I give it like a two. I'd drink it if the only other alternative was like piss. Or I don't a know. Whole... Piss is like at least piss would like be more palatable. If you gave me that or the pony jar, oh, I'll tell you what, there would be a oh. fucking second where I would have to really consider that. If this video gets clapped, that's that's the reason. That's the not pony the reason. Jar. You can say pony jar, you just can't say what it actually became. <laughs> Oh, I quite literally became. This kept it on a radiator. It had gone brown. Oh, uh, stop. Oh, dude. Stop <laughs> right now. People that don't have context are going to search Pony Jar. I, and I'm I really think... sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm not sure if that or the box is worse. Oh. Because the box, he tried to burn. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. We're not going to go into detail for anybody who isn't clued into what we're talking about. Just Google... Google the words cum box. That's all you need to know. Okay, there's no polite way I can put it. Okay. Just search Reddit cum box. Semen container. There's no, there's nothing, there's no polite way I can phrase it. But he put it on the bonfire and it didn't, it didn't burn, burn it was because too it was moist. so sodden. Yeah. And the smell coming off of that must have been intense. And he kept on using it even though it was moldy. 
Like, he knew it was moldy and he kept using it. Some people just don't have a good perception of when they shouldn't... When they when they need to make adjustments to that, life. That genuinely makes me want to fucking if, When you're in total isolation... You know that that Japanese thing? The Hikikomori? Who yeah, are like yeah, the, Hikikomori, yeah. The people who are just in total isolation. They just go into their own world. That's that's the same thing, but Combox. That's the American equivalent. <laughs> they just start coming in things that they shouldn't. Oh, jeez, we said this so much now. They start coming in things they shouldn't. I might actually need to censor that as well, because Susan doesn't like us even referring to sexual terms... Um, Susan is my sexual term. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Yeah. Speaking of which, teespring.com slash... Uh, Pring pie. <laughs> I don't think it is that. It's Elise's catchphrase. Elise's but catchphrase. But it's got like Elise's dash catchphrase. Whatever. I made the cream pie shirt. Four people ordered one. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, mate, we're going to match whoever ordered that. I know that me and one of our moderators, Captain Rangtang or Levi, whichever you want to call him, um, we've both got a cream pie. He's got a hoodie. I've got a long-sleeved shirt. We've both got a cream we've pie. We've both got a cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> People always ask me like, when are you, when are you gonna do merch? When are you gonna do merch? I link him to Teespring as a joke, and they're like, "Oh, thanks, bro." And I'm like, "No." Have you seen what's on that? Uh, that Teespring is a meme. That's all it is. And I would never tell anybody to buy anything. I think you've taken it off, but didn't you have the I'm gonna dick you in the teeth shirt? Oh, it might still on be on Teespring. there. Yeah, no, I think you took it down, there. but I think that Thor owns it of all people. I think Thor might be the only person that owns I'm Gonna Dick You in the Teeth shirt. Shari was asking me for a Jerry King mug again, but I can't do that because that's from like a mod for CK2. Ah, uh, yes, it's not yours. I did that as a joke when I was at like 5,000 subscribers, which is fine because like, who the fuck are you? But past 100k, mm, it's a little more sus yes, it's doing a stuff more, like that. A little more icky. Is there anything you want to bitch about anyway from like comments or anything? Oh, I want to bitch about YouTube. Keep disabled in the comments on the last do. episode. So we would never turn, I would never turn off comments on anything. Unless yeah. it was like a really serious video. Unless it's like, hi everyone, I'm dying. Yeah. Well, even then I wouldn't turn it off. There's no situation I think I would ever turn off comments. No, I don't think so. Unless like you say, I don't know, you say something really controversial. I don't want to hear the response, but like. So for whatever reason, on yesterday's episode, the comments just keep disabling. Like we checked yeah. five minutes ago in the, well. 12 minutes, 30 seconds ago now. Yeah. Uh, and they were disabled again. So I put them back on again, and I put in the title, hey, the comments are disabling, I don't know why. Yeah, this, they, they've disabled three times since we put the video up, and we don't know why. It just keeps doing it. Um, it was uploaded where you couldn't put comments on, and then literally like 10 minutes after it was uploaded, it just stopped working. I'll check it now, see if it's disabled it again. Because it's such a pain in the ass, because obviously comments are so important on YouTube, and then yeah, you've got like... Yeah, because the algorithm is like destroying them if you don't put, get any fucking... Like, we've got less views on this one than any other tier review episode ever. Oh, yeah. Because um, people can't comment. Uh, Let's have a look. Just see if it's working. Oh, no, the comments are still on for the time being. Oh, thank God. For the time being. Oh, look at me. Top comment. Wow. You're not allowed. I'm going to delete you. No. Block user from channel. No, no, no. My comment is top comment only because it was actually important. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> we need to think of topics. Well, I can think of topics. Or, some, or like, some people have been commenting on that video saying, oh, why don't you just not have, like, regular milk? Why don't you just have regular milk? And it's like, did you not watch the first not, episode? No. Did you not see the announcement? Did you not get the context? And even then, you say in the video, I'm lactose intolerant, so why wouldn't I be drinking non milk Alka asked why not just have tea without milk, and the simple answer is English breakfast tea. It's bitter. It's bitter as fuck, and it's it's literally designed for milk. Yeah. They, they've made a blend that goes with milk. If you bought regular black tea or green tea, yeah, obviously you wouldn't put milk in that, otherwise you're yeah. an idiot. Like, I wouldn't like put milk this. in any of my teas back here. I wouldn't put milk in this. No. I would pour the tea away, then put milk in the cup. <laughs> yeah. But that is... God, that is a cup of sin. What are we going to do? We've got another fucking... I'll give it to my mum. I bet she'd like oh, it. Oh, yeah, your mum will like something stupid we'll like We'll give her all these shitty tea. tea bags and she can... <laughs> You're welcome, mum. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my gift to you. You can have a bunch of <laughs> shitty tea. Happy Mother's want. Day. That's coming up sooner here. Um, but yeah, so the people that are confused about the vegan thing, Sam is doing a month's challenge of being vegan. He's not I, actually Because I don't eat vegetables. And I hate soy, so it's proven to be quite the challenge. What we found today, while we were looking for some stuff to buy in the shop, just kind of perusing, uh, almost everything's got fucking milk in it. Everything's got milk in it. And even like, it, it was like weird shit. Like I picked up some uh, some crisps uh, and it was on the, and pizza bases, that was another one I was looking for. And on the bottom it's like, has cow skimmed milk as a preservative. And I'm like, what the fuck, why? Sucks to be me, doesn't it? Everything's got fucking milk in. I, it's an absolute ball ache. And the problem is, like, when people say, oh, just have normal milk to me, and I'm like, I don't want to shit myself, so I'm going to have my soy. Sorry, mate. <laughs> like, well, you could. 
I, that's true. I'm Think like, of the OnlyFans potential. Oh, wow. I, that's it. I'll drink a gallon of milk on camera and then just I wait. I 100% guarantee you people would pay for that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't support it. You could hear my stomach gurgle. I would not support that in the least because I think that is heretical of the highest level. I'm not going to lie. I, I never thought I was into scat and after thinking about it, I still don't think <laughs> I'm into scat. <laughs> well, I, that could have gone one of two ways. Holy shit. <laughs> like the bathtub story. Oh, Jesus. There's so many... Reddit that's is not a our, Yeah, hole. that's not our story. But Reddit right. has a, a lot of interesting stories. You know what I want to do? What do you want to do? Uh... Tomorrow, we've already discussed this, so you're well aware. Cocktails. Yeah! Rather than... Because every tea we buy, subsequently, is a disappointment. Because we've tried such a, a dearth... A, no, a breadth of tea. It's all kind of weird, wacky shit. Oh, let's put some hay in a cup and boil it up and see how it tastes. Oh, it tastes shit. Who could have guessed? Yeah. So, you know what? We're going to make cocktails tomorrow. Yeah. I can't wait, because I really like... I really like the cocktail we're going to make. And it's all vegan, which is pretty easy to do with Well, cocktails. it's cocktails, yeah. Like, there are actually quite a lot, like obviously anything with the Irish cream or... Have you heard this shit about how figs aren't vegan? Oh, because wasps die in them. Yeah, because to be pollinated, a wasp has to go in and die in it, basically. That's pretty lit. Like, in a sort of metal, nature is metal way. And there's like a lot of Google results, like, are the bits in figs the dead body of a wasp? Well, like, obviously fucking not. But loads of people say figs aren't vegan because a wasp died in it. I'm going to be honest... Obviously, I'm not here for the vegan mindset. I'm just doing it to, to, to you know, have a fun month of weirdness and trying different foods. Uh, I'm especially not in it for fucking insects. Who gives a shit if a fucking wasp died? Do you know how many ants? I know ants aren't wasps. Well, let's, also, let's prefer ants that. are kind of, like, important. They get rid of a lot of waste. Do you know how many ants are on this planet? There's, like, there 3,000 ants. ants for every person. It's an absurd amount of ants on this planet. There are shitloads of wasps. There might not be many bees. If, if bees were going in figs and dying, maybe that would be a different argument. I don't give a fuck about a wasp. <laughs> if you're, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an ultra vegan, I can't, have, I can't have this fig because a wasp may have died in it. Fuck off. Jesus Christ, that I, that infuriates me. I actually sure. watched a video earlier. A critical, put, like, was doing a thing on it. This was a while back. Is this on? And this is on YouTube. No, I mean, what's the topic? And we've got to explain the fucking topic, knobhead. But it's on about, on about vegans. It was like six. Right. Yeah, it's like six people. One's a not meat eater. Five of them are vegans. So they've got to figure out who the non-vegan is. And this woman was like, "Oh, honey isn't vegan." One of the, one of them was like, "Oh, I I eat honey even though I'm vegan." She was like, "Honey isn't vegan. You can never say you're a vegan." It's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Honey isn't vegan. Why? Um. So, so some people consider it to be not vegan because it is. Technically, an animal product because honey is made by bees, but you do have to consider that if a bee doesn't like where it's living, like if it's high, if the person who's like running this fucking beehive is a bad owner, they'll just leave. Yeah, it's they, a ju bee. they will just fly away. It can just fly away. <laughs> He's not like trapping the bee in there, like yeah, unless you're like pinning the queen down or something. Yeah, which is fucked if you do that. But why? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Beehives, like, are not, like, beekeeping is not I'm, a bad thing. <laughs> I'm going to say it, and I don't think this is a controversial take. Insects aren't animals. They are biological robots. They are a step above bacteria. <laughs> they have no idea what they are doing. They, they operate on impulses. You get fucking mantises just ripping the heads off of the man mantis when they fuck for food because they're tired. <laughs> that's, a, that's a robot. That is a, they work on efficiency alone, and that's it. I should do that to you. Ants are all pheromones. Oh, I guess I'll live a long time then. Ants are all, <laughs> oh, all pheromones, okay? It's ridiculous. You can't... Insects are shit. Controversial point. People who have pet insects, fuck off. <laughs> People who have an ant colony in their house. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's, there's some merit to that, because that's kind of cool. And, like, terrariums are kind of cool. But it's like, oh, who's my pet tarantula called Jeffrey? Jeffrey's a cunt. There, I'm going to fucking say it. <laughs> Tarantulas are shit pets. Awful. I'll be honest, lizards are only a step above. Oh, my friends, like, love lizards. I'm gonna say, uh, lizards are only a step... The only acceptable pet is a dog. There. Oh, what about cats, though? Fuck cats. Dogs we are... We almost got a cat! Well, okay, I don't like, necessarily, cats. They are not pets. Cats will live in your home, and will occasionally appreciate you. Some cats. 
Some cats. Dogs yeah. were bred for thousands of years and are quite literally empathic with humans. They can understand your face. If you go, err, at a dog, they will be frightened. If you go, <laughs> hey, at a dog, they will love. They didn't see your face then, but you they like scrunchy bush, you like, err. <laughs> Dogs understand people. Dogs are just people. Insects are not animals. Somebody actually put a comment on one of the videos saying, like, cats are better than dogs. And, cause, cause, oh yeah, because dogs eat babies. That's what they said. Oh, okay, here's, here's the plan. Die by your cat and see how long it takes for your cat to pull your face off and eat it. Because there are so many fucking recorded times of old people dying in their home and the cats just fucking eat them. The cats will just eat them. Because cats are not... They don't know anything about human brains, how they work. Cats are just... Horrible creatures that people have been... Toxoplasmosis. I'm just saying words now. I'm not going to lie. Sam Sam is doing all this shouting. But if, if you're butthurt in the comments, you do, do not understand who this man is. <laughs> 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 like, you have no idea. The amount of times, like, he'll start saying something that's just a lie. Just at me. Just... Just saying stuff that's like, earlier he said gratin instead of graton, and he was trying to like pretend that he didn't know how to say it, and I was like, you know how to say it, you're just trying to fuck with me. I will defend this to the death, right? Some people say, oh, that's gaslighting. It's not gaslighting. Uh... Gaslighting is giving, uh, you are trying to get something out of it, okay? The only thing I'm getting out of it is amusement. You are getting something out of it then. Fuck. Fuckhead. You gaslighter. <laughs> but gaslighting, I would say, is manipulative. Me saying potato graton wrong. It's not like, it's not mind controlling you. It's just fun. You've like, got to keep people on their toes. You do that all the I time. I do it to though. everybody, like, though. You, like, oh, yeah, you do it to everyone. Especially your mum. Bless her. She, well, she, she always falls for it. That's a problem. Like, I don't know how she lived with you for, like, 20 years. Because, like, my God. I think that was just an era of, of, like, British comedy that I grew up with. Of, like, this kind of absurdism. You know, like Milton Jones on Mock the yeah, Week. Yeah, yeah. And well, shit like black books and stuff like, like that. Like Bob Mortimer's show. Bob Mortimer, yeah, he's 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 amazing. He's the goal for comedy, isn't he? And he just makes up shit all the time. He does. Sergeant, by the way, that's not real. <laughs> and I do that, and suddenly I'm the bad guy. No one's ever said that I'm the bad guy. No one, never no one. once. No one has ever said I'm no the bad guy. No one's ever said that. No, why would they? I've been like that. I've been like Sam's a bad guy. Is this a cry for help? Do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, William Eyelash. Very cool. <laughs> Yeah, like you, like people who fall for anything you say, like it's become a thing now in the moderator chat where people just. Go, oh God! Oh. In Discord, Red Demon, I'm sorry if you're watching. You're probably not. <laughs> the amount of times I will say in the moderator chat, like I've done this in a video, or I'm about to say the this. Support a chat with Red Demon, right? And Red Demon will just. It's like clockwork. It's like clockwork. I feel like, honestly, sometimes I, I have a little marionette with some of the people on Discord. You just say shit. And I just make them dance. And it, it provides me unlimited amusement. That's the whole reason I'm here for YouTube. I'm like Logan Paul, except instead of trying to manipulate people for profit, I do it for fun. You're a horrible human <laughs> being. Jesus Christ. This is who I live with. I'm going to get them smothered in my right. fucking sleep. I need sleep. to point out, everything is a joke. Everything here is a joke. Sam okay. likes to have fun. I've never manipulated anybody to do anything. Patreon.com slash Roland D2 Games. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Buy my cream pie shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Buy my cream pie. Buy my cream pie. Teespring.com slash whatever. Don't actually. <laughs> no, don't actually. I mean, like, in fairness, I did buy the cream pie shirt. I can't talk shit. <laughs> Contrary I'm... to that, people aren't going to realise the amount of times people message me like, hey, can I donate? And I'll be like, oh, don't worry about it. Just give me a like on a video. Yeah. Nobody sees that side. No. You get a lot of DMs like that, though. It's really awkward. I always turn people down because I feel, yeah, I feel awkward when people do that. Because I'm like, oh, It just feels strange. It's like, if you want to and you find it and you do it, that's great. I'm not going to drive people to the... That's why I don't ever mention Patreon besides shouting people out at the end of videos. And I put mm. the link, like, literally, it's like, right the way down. Like, the most you'll ever hear about us talking about Patreon is in stuff like this. Where yeah. Where it's like, just talking about it. Um... Speaking of, um, we have ingredients to make some some foods, some like vegan foods. Uh, the taco recipe that I got from a patron, I have all the stuff for that now. So that should be happening eventually. I don't know if we're going to film it. Maybe we will. We could film just the end product. Yeah, we a can taste do that. test. A taste test. I mean, it probably will taste fine. It's just a taco, but without meat. <laughs> yeah. You know, tacos so it's taste just, good. It's just a tortilla. Just a, just a tortilla. Just a tortilla, yeah. There's nothing else. With some else. salsa. Yeah. You put salsa in... 
I, I don't put salsa in my but like tacos. tomato. I might put fresh tomato in there. Might dice some tomato, but I don't think I've ever made tacos. I made enchiladas because enchiladas are fucking great. Sam loves enchiladas. It's chicken in a wrap with tomato spread and cheese, and I know that's simplifying a national dish <laughs> of a nation. Very much so, but holy shit, it's good. You could not make. I'm, ta I'm. There's no such thing as a bad enchilada. I wish that I could make chalupas at home. You but, can. Well, I can't. Not well. What? Just like a. It's like a hard shell taco with a. No, chalupas are the ones that are fried. Oh, uh, oh, right. Yeah, like the. I saw someone make that the other day. They did it like a pan, and then they like flipped it, and then they. I mean, I really want to eat them, because I, I always want to eat them. You put, like, two pans together like, and you flip it. They taste so fucking good. <laughs> but I'm like, I can't. Frying like, frying is so bad for you. Like, I really wanted to do one of the things when we when you stop being vegan is maybe do eggy bread as one of our oh. English, English dishes. But my God, it's a heart attack. I used to have eggy bread so I much as a kid. I fucking love eggy bread. I'm not sure I like it anymore, though, because I'm, it's, I'm it's, not a big egg eater. It's a, like... It was definitely a thing that my family only ever did it as like this uh, special occasion thing. Like whenever we went to the caravan for our holidays. Why did you say it like that? What? What caravan? Why? What's that? It, do you, how do you want me to say it? Why are you putting the emphasis on that? What? How, what's the, is the uh, uh, caravan? You're saying caravan. Yes, just caravan. Caravan. It was the, just stop. The Why? emphasis is on oh, the, stop it. the van and not the caro. You're saying like caravan. Just let it's me caravan. say the word. This however. fucks me off with my nan as well because she says wheelchair. <laughs> wheelchair. And that pisses me off to no extent because she <laughs> always talks about like her old person friends. She's like, oh, old Susie's got a wheelchair. And it drives me nuts. <laughs> you mean a wheelchair? She, she gets a lot of words wrong, but she's always done it. It's not like an old age thing. Like, instead of saying, like, when she had her budgie, her budgie died, which was, a, a, like, a, like, a tragedy. Like, she was, she was done. I assume not the budgie she's got now. No, that, yeah, the budgie she's got oh, now. Oh, they're gone. It's died. Oh. Um, she used to say, for whatever reason, when the budgie dive-bombed her, it doughboyed her. Doughboyed her? She just got a lot of words. Chicken goujons were geons. Geons? <laughs> Chicken geons. She just, like... Certain words just, like, never never settled in her mind. I mean, in fairness, I used to work at a Japanese restaurant, and the amount of things people would just say really wrong. Well, sure. But, like, you'd get some people who just put in letters, like, chicken katsui. There's no I on the end. Where'd you get the I from? Well, it's just people being... Chicken katsui. I want some tofu. Fuck off. If you say tofu to me, I'll fucking kick you in Miso. the face. Oh, ugh. Yeah, but that's different because it's it's rare that in real life you're gonna come across edamame beans or yeah, but like I can forgive chicken that. Katsu. I can forgive that. But chicken katsui used to really get on my titties because it's like, <laughs> why are you adding an extra letter? There is no extra letter, and it wasn't just like one person who'd fuck it. But that's like, fine. Loads of people. I can forgive that. But my nan, it was English words. <laughs> is goujon an English word? Goujon is not. Goujon is a French word. Yeah, but like gratin. But it's been adopted into English. Don't you start, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll bring up that Italian bread that you love to fuck up. <laughs> You've already brought that up in a video. It was in the eggnog video. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, fuck you. For Keisha. Also, right, I'm going going to... Oh, God, here we go. No, yeah, no, 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 no. This is... Those people keep on uh, trying to say that I didn't eat those fucking chicken feet, and you did, which means you're not picky. I did eat the chicken you feet. You had a nibble and put it down. Yeah, because it tasted like shit. I, I ate, ate the whole it. foot. Well, you had bones and all. Not You're bones and all, not the fucking claws. I didn't like fucking sock those down, did I? Moron. N no. God, I'm sorry, Sam. We just had a sip of this fucking tea. That didn't mean I didn't try it, you fucking dingbat. Yeah, but I'm saying I had the chicken foot. She prepared a whole bowl of she, chicken feet. And she hid them all over our house. She, she, she made a whole bowl of chicken feet and I was the only person that ate a chicken foot. I would not do it again. I'd sooner drink that nettle tea than eat a chicken's foot. Yeah, that wasn't very good. I that, The thing is, I, I say again, as I said I said in the other video, if she'd have made them, like, crispy, I think they would have been fine. It was just, like, it rubbery. It was just rubbery and disgusting. Grey. So, yes, I did eat some, because I know it was disgusting and rubbery. Oh, barely, though. It doesn't oh, count. Oh, fuck you. No, it does not fuck count. off. If you don't eat the whole chicken, you've got to eat that chicken's anus, otherwise it doesn't count. I mean, you probably do in your chicky nuggies. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. I'm fine with that. I've, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you're using the waste bits of chicken to make something like a chicken nuggy, which is acceptable flavour, good. It's better than throwing it in the bin. 
Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to debate that except for, I don't know, bougie people. I don't get that, like the the bouginess, where it's just like... I want the finest cuts of chicken. Oh, I only want chicken breast of my chicken nuggets. Who cares? <laughs> Blitz the fucking thing up and use 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 all. Use all. Fuck it. Go mad. Except for nettles. Don't use those. Yeah, don't They're use good those for in chopping anything. down and mulching. How are they good in a soup? How is it... Like, how are these sweaty sock leaves good in soup? <laughs> Do you think it says that on the box? I'm, I'm going to read it. Does it have, like, a fancy thing? Of course it does. Oh, Clipper products are made with pure ingredients and a clear conscience. We use only the highest quality sources, add nothing artificial, and strive to improve the welfare of the workers. Where does the, the, the nettle come from? Is it good British nettle? If it's not, then I'm going to kill them. EU slash non-EU agriculture importing ingredients. Why are you importing... <laughs> okay, then. Wow. Why are you importing nettles? I could go behind the house yeah, and literally like, pick your fucking handful now. They grow everywhere here. Maybe it's like premium nettles. Pre this, is, this is the best. This is imported nettle tea to make it worse. Did you ever, like, obviously, as a child, you must have been stung by nettles a fair few yes, times. Yes, I was. And I lived like, in the, the rural. I, I, I was always stung by nettles and I was always taught, like, the bay leaf trick. like Spit on a bay leaf and rub it in. I never spat on it because I don't like spit. Yeah, you're supposed I... to spit on a bay leaf and rub it and it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Never fucking worked. Old wives' tale to make kids... It's like, you know, when kids fall over and break their arm, you say, oh, it's not too bad. When in fact you're thinking inside, like, oh, fuck, this kid's dead. This kid's dying. Yeah, this kid's fucking dumb. I once broke my arm. You, and... you, you did. And they didn't think there was anything wrong with me. And then it turned out I had broken my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my, my family have always been like that, though. They, they always say, oh, you just walk it off, and then it's like, no, I've actually fractured my arm, though. Can I go to a doctor? <laughs> With the exception of toes, which apparently everybody breaks their toes, they just don't realise. Because yeah. toes, are, toes are just, like, uh. a non-issue. Like, you hit your toe on the corner of the table, you might not realise that it's broken. Uh, with the exception of toes, which don't count, the only bone I've ever broken is my spine. Oh, and you broke your coccyx? Mm. I've broken my arm, and that's it. I'm pretty sure... So I'm I'm part of the cool boy bone club. What are they called? The never broke a bone club. You're not though, because you broke your ass. It was a fractured coccyx. It didn't break. It... Trust me, if it had broken, I would be still sitting down. <laughs> I would be in a wheelchair. Yeah, fractured... I would be in a wheelchair. A fracture counts. <laughs> a fracture counts. A fracture does not count as a broken bone. All right, so my arm that was fractured doesn't count as a no, broken bone. No, a break is like a break. Well, it didn't break, it just fractured. Like, I think, fra I bet if you went on that, that subreddit and you said, I bro bro broke my coccyx. If it's like a compound count. fracture where it's like in a thousand pieces, sure. But no, no part of it broke. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a. You didn't get an x-ray, you don't fucking know. No, I don't know, you're right. You fucking liar. All I know is what the lady told me down the phone. And by lady, I mean qualified medical, a doctor. Yeah. A physician. <laughs> and the doctor on the phone. The doctor on the phone. I mean, you did speak to like four different people. I did speak to a lot of people. The first one was really funny. Was it the emergency dentist I was trying to ring? And that there was that fucking woman who was on the phone and she was like really arsy with me because I couldn't understand what she was saying. She had a really heavy accent and a really bad phone. And I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't understand you right now. I really can't hear you very well. And she got really fucking annoyed at me. He's oh. like, right, call back later. And I was like, what? Like, this is your fucking job. Yeah, that's rude. I, I was just thinking about the one that was like, how he said you an ambulance, and you were like, no. Yeah, that was the problem with it. The first one was like, well, we'll send you a fucking ambulance. And I was like, this is my spine. And I was like, nah. And then the next person was like, oh, you're probably fine. You probably just fractured it. I'll put you on the line to a doctor. Like, completely, like, safe air about it. Yeah, like, proper chill. I mean, like, you're fine now, right? Well, no, it still hurts if I sit on it for too long. Like, my mum, when she broke her coccyx, like, literally years afterwards, she couldn't oh, yeah. sit in certain places. I've still got that fancy, fancy cushion. Your fan Yeah, your fancy cushion. Is that the one that you got for, um, your guide for, or is it a different cushion? Oh, no, that's a foot cushion, the that's one with a guide. a foot cushion. I bought that to prop my foot up when I played guitar, because you don't have your legs even, because that's a bit weird. Yeah. I have one elevated to it. Brings it up. Okay, fair enough. 
But yeah, Thanks. I know that you've got your ass cushion. I do have an ass. A lot of people have an ass cushion. You call them cushions. I've got an ass cushion as well. You have an ass cushion. Yours is Pikachu's face. No, it's not anymore. You got rid of Pikachu's face. Pikachu's got too like destroyed after being sat on for years. P you sat on Pikachu's <laughs> face for so long, he you destroyed him. Is is that what you're trying to tell <laughs> the people? Susan's gonna demonetize us. Is that what you're telling the people? <laughs> yeah. Um. He's the like the whole thing just. It was fucked. So now I've got a different cushion. It's still yellow though. So I mean, it was a real cheap Pikachu pillow. It was though. like the cheapest. It was this thing. weird shop in town that yeah, just randomly, that just sold randomly Pokemon had Pokemon pillows. pillows. We still got all of them except the original Pikachu. They're really uncomfortable. Yeah. Because they're almost certainly bulk imported from China. Yeah, but we can't find them though. Like, you, you know, you usually go on AliExpress or something to try and find them. I wonder if they I were just... sat in a warehouse for like. Yeah, I just. This was when Pokemon these. Go craze was kicking off, which is the, probably the only reason why they stopped them. Yeah. I reckon it's the same guy who also sold the fucking fidget spinners en masse. Oh, the, the lady. It was a lady that owned the shop though. She, well, she said it was. No, no, it was a guy that owned the shop because she said, oh, I'll find out when he's ordering in more. Ah. Of course, it'd be a man owning a business. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. Is there anything you want to talk about, or should we wrap it up? I think we should wrap it up, because we've been going for like 36 minutes. Alright, uh, in conclusion, nettle tea? Shit. Shame! Oh, dude, Shame! You can have a stinky finger now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Why did you do that? It smells so bad. Yeah, it was a foolish idea. <laughs> I've got a stinky <laughs> finger, and meet people when I'm out. Oh, don't smell my finger, I've dipped it in nettles. <laughs> what? <laughs> do you want to smell? What does it smell like? Um, weirdly, like, a mix between that strawberry rabbit you had earlier. Oh, we had a strawberry rabbit. It was and vegan. Yeah, we had a vegan strawberry white chocolate rabbit. It was actually rabbit. really nice. It was good, It had a yeah. nice crunch to it. Right, yeah. In conclusion, nettle tea bad. Don't stink my finger. <laughs> Don't stink my finger. Wheelchair. Uh, something else. Don't, I don't... don't message me on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything else to cover? Nah, I think we're good, mate. All right. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you all oh, no. very, very soon. Mm -hmm.